Ah, debates. The battlegrounds of words, where verbal clashes reign supreme. But I'm about to give you the new metaphor for debates. A revolutionary method, where not a single spit needs to be wasted. Welcome to the new era of winning. See, traditional debates have you spewing words like a fire hose. But with what I like to call the Daniel Razon method, you don't have to waste a single word. Because actions speak louder than words. Enter Daniel Razon, a man of very few words, but boundless impact. He, I mean, the, the man has dabbled in public media, broadcasting, business, intelligence, check. Good looks, double check. You feel what I'm saying? The man is the epitome of a modern Renaissance figure. But here's what's confusing. You'll never catch Daniel Razon in a public, verbal discourse. Unlike Elisio Soriano, who is widely known and renowned for his biblical discourses. Not to mention that shiny, undefeated record. Whew! Daniel Razon takes a little bit of an unorthodox approach. The key to understanding all of this lies in a single, simple allegory. So pay close attention. Imagine you and I cross paths in a park. You, working out, looking every bit the fitness guru in your regular clothes. Well, I'm over here on a bench munching on Doritos. All of a sudden, I can't help myself. So I start yelling, hey, what you're doing is all wrong. Your form is terrible. But you, you keep on with your workout unfazed. My shouting, however, gathers an audience, but I persist. What's with your clothes? Your form's still all wrong. You're gonna cause an injury. The people, perplexed, they shift their gaze from me to you. So they start murmuring in confusion. Wait, what that guy's doing is wrong and we should listen to him? But look at that physique. That physique is stellar. He's clearly an expert in calisthenics. The murmurs grow louder as they size us up. So he's the one we should follow? He doesn't even look like he's seen a salad. In the end, to whose favor do you think the scale would tip Towards. This is how Daniel Razon emerges victorious in debates. Others might start hurling accusations after accusation towards him, talking about some. You know nothing about broadcasting. You know nothing about entrepreneurship and business. But instead of engaging in verbal combat, he remains laser focused on his work and let his accomplishments and accolades speak for him. Wait, Daniel Razon doesn't know anything about entrepreneurship? Meanwhile, he's literally founded multiple seven-figure businesses, not limited to Wish 107.5 and Daniel's The Coffee franchise. And what exactly are you running again? In this new meta of debate, there's only one clear winner, and it's not the one doing all the talking.